Hi, this is Sergey from Code Supply Company. In this video, I'll show you the basic features of the Canvas Page Builder. Click the Add New button to add a new page. Let's organize the workspace first. Click on the three dots, then enable the top toolbar and the full screen mode. Then, in the Page Attributes in the Template Select field, choose Canvas Full Width. Set the page header to None, as we won't need a page header for the home page. Let's call the page Home page and add our first block. It will be a section block. Type Section and add this block from the Canvas tab. Then select Full Width. As you can see, the width of the content currently fits the section container. Let's make it stretch from edge to edge of the screen. Select the section block in the tree navigation. Then select Full Width in the alignment options. Now let's add a post block. Search for posts and click on the block name. We'll add a center slider. To the right side, you'll see all the options available for this block. Let's reduce the number of slides and set it to 3. Then I'll enable video backgrounds and slightly increase the heading font size. Let's add a new section. It will be a full width section again. However, this time we won't be stretching it. Instead, we'll add another post block. And this time it will be a carousel. Let's change the number of visible slides and set the landscape image orientation so that all thumbnails look uniform. In the typography settings, I'll adjust the heading font size. Now let's add a separator. In the style tab, select wide line and make it fit the container width. Then Let's add a new section. This will be a section with the right sidebar, where the main block archive will be located. Click on the plus icon to add a new post block and select Masonry. I will enable Display First Post as standard option to make the first post stand out and look bigger than the others. I will also enable video backgrounds and widgets in post archive. Here are the widgets. Then let's add content to the sidebar. I will add a post slider widget. Now all unavailable layouts are grayed out. I will add a slider widget. Let's change orientation to portrait and increase the typography size. Looks good. Now let's add a section heading for the next widget. Type section heading Then Instagram. Now let's add the Instagram block. Click on the Instagram from the Canvas tab.
select the number of images and that's it. Let's add social links with a heading. I'll type follow us. I will choose the six column layout and will hide labels and titles. I will also set the maximum number of icons to six. Let me add a Twitter block now. I'll select the slider layout and add the correct username. Let's add one more posts widget with a section heading. It will be trending posts. Now I'll add another posts block. And this time it will be a numbered list of posts. As the final block, let's add a custom HTML block and we'll place a banner. This is where you can place any code, including Google AdSense. That's it. Before we publish, let's make sure that our sidebar is sticky. Select the current block. Then in the tree navigation, select Section. I'll enable the sticky sidebar option in the settings and will change the sticky method to top edge of the last block. OK, we're ready to go. Let's publish our home page. As you can see, the final result on the front end is exactly as it was in the editor, and it took me only a few minutes to build a custom home page. Building pages in the authentic theme has never been easier thanks to Canvas, the revolutionary block-based page builder.